Hey, Mel here with the Screencasting Wizard, helping you digitize your knowledge to get it online and web ready. I'm on my way. Don't worry, I'm I'm being safe here. I'm hands free. Everything's remote. Yee. Sorry. So I'm on my way to a meeting. Uh, it's the same meeting I go to usually on most Saturday mornings here in Orange County. Uh, it's a mastermind meeting. Uh, but uh, wanted before I got there, I wanted to just get this blog post out and also share with you a conversation that we were having in James's uh, Video Traffic Academy uh, group. Which, by the way, if you haven't uh, taken a look at it yet, yeah, click the link below, and uh, you know you'll, there's a lot of great discussions. And one of the discussions that we had that also came up as a question from one of my readers as well is uh, where I host my videos and or what video hosting platforms. And there's one that someone was discussing was uh, called the Mac CDN. That's one that uh, might be worth taking a look at, but certainly if you want it for your own membership site and you want to host your own videos behind a firewall that you don't want to make public, I use Easy Video Player because it hooks in with Amazon S3. But the thing is, is it's Amazon is what I want to talk about in this video post. Yeah, you know, they do books, right? So you know the online bookstore. But what Amazon also does is they have this big infrastructure and they have, and what they've decided is to monetize some of that infrastructure. And so they have this service called Amazon S3. And the S3 part is just basically, uh, uh, I guess, kind of an acronym for simple storage service. And in terms of storage, it really is pretty simple. And it's also very cost effective. You can upload your videos there and they charge like it's I just got my bill today and it was like three dollars and fifty cents and I host like you know 25 videos and 25 gigabytes worth of videos right now on there so there's different uh, different rates depending on what country your users are accessing from but basically you can expect like something on the order of 12 cents per gigabyte just to give you a scale of what a gigabyte would be in terms of video storage and video streaming if you can um, think for most videos uh, I guess it wouldn't help you to say that one gigabyte is a billion bytes, right? Okay, so that's, I mean, that's basically what it is. But if you can think of a 10-minute video, um, kind of a rule of thumb that I use is a 10-minute video is probably like 100 megabytes. Don't worry, let me do the math for you. That's basically 10,000 of those videos in one gigabyte, okay? And that's 12 cents for that much uh, storage of a uh, video. So it's a lot of video storage, and that's why I use Amazon S3. Now there is a little bit of a, a setup component to it, and there are there's actually two services on Amazon that I use. One is S3, which is simple storage service, and that's where I store my videos. And then the other component is something called CloudFront. So you wanna sign up for that too if you're, if you're uh, delivering video or training. And the reason is because what CloudFront then does This is Mel with the Screencasting Wizard. Hope you're well. Uh, again, helping you digitize your knowledge to get it online and web ready. If you have questions, let me know through email or comments below, and I will talk to you later. Take care.